everybody. Welcome to my studio. Well, it's not really a studio. It's really my dining room. But it functions as my studio. It's where I do my painting. It's where I do any art that I'm working on. And today it's where I'm starting my video with you. So first off, I want to say I'm sorry. I haven't been around the last couple months. Almost three months, actually. My depression and anxiety have been really bad over the winter. My wife, um, who, if you've watched previous videos, know her life ended at her own hands, but it was on December 6th, 2013. So, November and December generally are just a tough time for me, and this year has been no exception. And I'm here today because a friend of mine said, hey, you haven't done a video lately. And I was like, well, I mean... I've been dealing with depression and anxiety again, and I just haven't felt like doing it. And my friend said, wait a minute, isn't that why you started your YouTube channel? Because you wanted to be there for people that are suffering with depression and anxiety? To be there for people that are, have gone through what I've gone through? And I was like, yeah. And she said, then why aren't you letting your viewers be there for you? Why aren't you using your channel to help you? And that really kind of hit home. Because it's been a tough uh, winter. Um, I put on almost 20 pounds. I've done a lot of sleeping. I've sat around after work. Not really doing much of anything, including on the weekends. But she's right. And I need to change that because not only do I want to be here for you, but if this relationship is going to work between you and I, then I have to be willing to be open and, look, and allow you to be there for me. Even if it's silent, silently from the other side of the camera. This is a two-way thing and I'm sorry if I've let you down over the winter time and I'm sorry if my viewers, any of you, have had a, have had a tough time this winter and I wasn't there for you. So, we're past Christmas, into the new year, and I really need to get serious because I'm serious about you. So let's go back a little bit and talk about almost 20 pounds of weight gain. Poor eating, no exercise, sitting around on my couch feeling sorry about myself, laying in bed feeling sorry about myself, sleeping more than I probably should. So we're going to change that. So. I kind of worried about a niche when I was first starting this channel. What was I going to do? What was I going to specialize in? And I've decided that I don't actually have to have an ongoing, one-of-a-kind niche. Like, my niche can change. So now, right now, I'm dealing with weight gain. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to take those pounds off before spring arrives. Now, I've done crock pot cooking in the past, and I actually, my last video was going to be a crock pot Italian sausage and rice dish that I converted from stovetop to crock potting um, a few years ago. And I completely botched the ending. I had everything done, everything filmed, except the end, the final result, and the taste. <laughs> so I kind of just had to trash all of it. And that was kind of like my last video. So today I'm back, but this time, instead of just doing crock pot dishes, I am going to focus on healthy, low calorie, low fat crock pot dishes to eat healthy. And hopefully start taking some of this 19 pounds that I put on and this beard and get them gone. Now the beard actually only sticks around for December and January. It disappears. Uh, right in about the middle of February. I start growing it on Thanksgiving weekend and I end it on my wife's birthday which was February 11th. If you hear that whining in the background, that is the new pup, Charlie. Um, as you guys know from my last video, uh, Mimi passed away and I have a new puppy that did not want to leave me alone when I started this video. So currently, she's blocked in the, he's blocked in the kitchen. Stop whining. You're going to get to meet the world at the end of the video. So, I promise, at the end of this video, I'm going to introduce you to Charlie, 
and I'm going to introduce Charlie to the world. Charlie is now uh, five months old. I got him when he was two months old, and he doesn't like to bark, he just likes to whine. Um, but we'll talk about more about him at the end of the video. Stop crying, you sound like a girl. Ooh, no offense to the girls out there. Crying is allowed. This is a crying safe place. If you want to cry, cry. I have almost come to complete tears in a couple of my videos. And I actually almost came to tears at the beginning of this video when I was talking about what I've been dealing with. So, back to the tune of eating healthy. So, today we're going to do a crock pot meal. But we are going to do a low calorie, low fat, healthy crock pot meal. Today we are going to poach salmon in a crock pot. I do not know if this is going to work out. This is not something I've ever done before. I actually did find the recipe and I will share the link to the recipe in the comments section following the video. But yes, we're going to cook poached salmon in a crock pot and then we're going to have asparagus uh, to go next to it. So it's actually a pretty quick recipe. Um, it's a half an hour of letting the poaching liquid heat up and it's an hour of cook time in the actual crock pot. So not a tough recipe at all. I've already got the ingredients and they're kind of set out and they're ready to go. I'm going to try and actually approach these crock pot dishes a little differently going forward because I feel like the one that I actually posted, the crock pot lasagna, the one that I did not get to post, which was the crock pot Italian sausage and rice, take a lot of time. So we're going to try and, and figure out a way that we can speed this up so, like tonight, I'm going to show you the ingredients and I'm going to skip some, some viewing, like when I am poaching the liquid, you don't need to see that. Um, when the salmon's actually cooking, you don't need to see that. I'm going to show you me putting all the ingredients into the crock pot for the poaching liquid. I'm going to show you me putting the salmon into the crock pot. And I'm going to show you taking the salmon out of the crock pot along with the final uh, version, including the asparagus. Now the asparagus is pretty easy. I'm going to put it on a on a uh, a pan and a flat pan, and I'm going to season it with butter and some garlic, and I'm going to bake it at 350 for however long it takes until it's done. Then I'm going to scoop. Seriously, you're whining to America. You realize that, right? You may even be whining to some countries across the ocean. You sound like a wussy dog. Be a man. Be a puppy. Don't whine. Welcome to my world. It's every day, all day. No matter what I do, he just whines about it. I can't wait till he finds his barking voice. Um, but he's healthy, and I love him, and he's been a good dog thus far. So, again, at the end of the video, I'll get to meet Charlie. Charlie will get to meet you. He's going to be a part of my videos going forward because pretty soon I'm going to try and groom him on camera and we're going to see how that goes. My guess, my prediction is going to be epic fail. Okay, so we're going to do salmon and again, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I haven't been here. I hope everybody had a great holiday. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you had a great Christmas. I hope nobody suffered and was wondering where the fuck is Jim in his video. Like, I need to hear that I'm not the only one suffering. If I let you down, I'm sorry. I'll never let you down again. I'm here. I'm going to be here. Like my friend said, this has to be a two-way street. Two-way street. Did I say two-way street? Two-way street. I want to be here to help you. I want to be here to give you positive reinforcement about struggling through depression. But I do. She's right. I need to allow you to be there for me. Even if it's just you watching my video. Like, it doesn't matter if I get a comment or a like. Just the fact that I look down and I see a view. I said a while ago that as long as you kept viewing my videos, I would keep putting them out. So I'm back. And I'm never, ever going to let a two and a half, three month stretch go by where you're not getting a chance to know what my battle with depression and anxiety is like. It has been a rough winter. But, let's start the new year off together and start the new year off right. So, let's go cook some fucking salmon.
All right, so here we are. We're gonna start uh, prepping everything and throwing it in the crock pot for the poaching liquid. So what we're gonna start off for the poaching liquid is one cup of dry white wine, two cups of water, some thinly sliced shallots, some chopped parsley, and some lemon wedges. Uh, in addition to some lemon juice, which we're gonna squeeze out of the two large lemons there, and one tablespoon of peppercorns, and we're gonna be adding uh, two tablespoons of kosher salt. So we're gonna throw all that into the crock pot, and then we're gonna go from there. All right, so before we start, the dry white wine that I mentioned when I was showing you the recipes was actually Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. Um, Kim Crawford is a wine from New Zealand. It's one that my late wife turned me on to. So before we start adding everything, here's to Caitlin. And hopefully some successfully poached salmon. All right, so we're gonna add two cups of water. One cup of white wine. The lemon slices. <laughs> the shallots. And the parsley flakes. And then one tablespoon of peppercorn. And two tablespoons of kosher salt. And then we're going to squeeze one of the lemon, just for the juice and the juice alone, down into the water and wine. The other one, I'm gonna slice up into wedges for the actual salmon once it's complete. All right, so we have all that in there. See, what you can see is me and my ingredients going in. What you can't see is the mess behind me <laughs> of everything that I've left. All right, so we've got everything in. I need a fork for stirring. So I'm gonna stir everything up. Now the recipe calls for me to put this on high for 30 minutes. Uh, I did not put a little bit of water into the bottom of a crock pot to start with to kind of get it heated up. I always recommend that. If you're going to crock pot, you want to get the crock pot warm. Kind of like the same thing with an air fryer. If you're going to use an air fryer, you need to turn it on for 12, 13 minutes, let it warm up, get nice and hot. Charlie is on my leg right now, wanting some attention. Um, but I did not do that tonight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start this up. I will probably let this cook for about 45 minutes since I did not preheat it. In 45 minutes, we will come back and we will add our lovely salmon fillets. And the cook time on the salmon fillets is about an hour. You wanna start checking at about 45 minutes and you want an opaque look and you wanna see if it's gonna start flaking off. Once that starts to occur, you're pretty good to go. I'll probably cook it for a couple extra minutes on top of that, but we're going to see how this goes. Poached salmon in a crock pot. And then while this is preheating, we'll put, uh, I'll come back. We'll put our salmon fillets into the juice, the poaching liquid, and we will throw our asparagus into the oven at about, I'd say probably 20 minutes into the cooking. That gives a good 40 minutes. We'll go half an hour. That gives the asparagus half an hour to get where I want it to be. Um, and I will show you what I've done with that before I put it in the oven because like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some butter and some uh, garlic on top of that. And then hopefully in about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, we've got poached salmon and asparagus for dinner. So I'll check back with you soon. And again, guys, I'm so sorry I haven't been here, but I'm back and I'm not going anyplace else. So going forward, we're gonna find some heart healthy, low calorie, low fat, fucking crock pot dishes that we can enjoy and take some weight off. And we're gonna work on coping skills. In my next video, we're going to talk about journaling and painting, which are the two of the biggest coping skills I have. 
And then I still love the idea of doing the up-and-coming artists. So in a couple of videos, you're going to hear about Leanne Crawford, who is one that I've discovered. Um, and we'll talk more about her when that time comes, because I'm still listening to Elena Castillo, who is now on tour across the country. If she comes to your town, be sure to look her up. If you don't know who I'm talking about, go back and watch the fucking video about Elena Castillo, one of America's up-and-coming artists. She rocks. I love her. I can listen to her music all day long. Okay, so let's do some cooking. We're going to let this uh, get heated up, and I'll be back to put the salmon in. All right, so we're back. And the poaching liquid has been going on for a little bit. So now we're going to add our salmon fillets. And we're going to add these skin down. And we're going to put them in here. I'm a little worried about getting all of this in here. Um, we may have a little too much salmon. Okay, so we did end up having just a little bit too much salmon, but the recipe did tell me what to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit more water just to cover. So it looks like maybe a half cup more water. Yes, now we got our salmon covered. And we've got that in there. And we've already prepped our asparagus. So that is ready to go into the oven once it preheats. All I did with this was add some spray butter underneath, some spray butter on top. I added some minced garlic, some pepper, and just a little bit of salt, very little bit of salt. Because again, our goal here is to be healthy, low calorie, low fat. So the salmon's gotta cook for about an hour. I'm gonna wait probably about 20 minutes, preheat the oven, and then put the asparagus in the oven at 350. My plan is to probably cook that about 20, 25 minutes, maybe 30, depending on how long it takes to cook through. And then we're gonna have dinner. So, it has been kind of a tough winter. I mean, I explained to you about Caitlin leaving this world uh, December 6, 2013. The holidays always hit me hard. I don't really celebrate the festive Christmas anymore. I mean, I do celebrate, you know, the birth of Christ as far as that goes. But as far as the whole pageantry and trees and Christmas lights and all that other stuff, I could really give a rat's ass anymore. I mean, it's and it's weird because I used to love Christmas. I used to love the Christmas songs on the radio. I used to love putting up a tree. I used to love getting involved and sending out cards and just without her here, it's just not the same. And then on top of that, losing Mimi uh, in the fall and that really hit me hard. Um, I mean, I know I posted the video and I gave the memorial for Mimi and Ribby. But that ended up really hitting me hard. And then the Christmas holidays on top of everything. And it's just, it's been a really a rough time. But I'm trying to come through it. And I'm trying to be here for you. I'm hoping that you'll be there for me. But together, you know, we'll start this new year off. And we'll start it off healthy. We'll start it off healthy. Um, I said that, didn't I? We'll start it off healthy. And we'll try to start it off happy. Um I mean, when you're dealing with depression, you can only be as happy as you can. Uh, it's rough. I mean, it's a disease. And anybody who doesn't think it's a disease is crazy. Um, for us that live it and deal with it every single day, I mean, we do the best that we can. I will tell you what depression teaches you to be. It teaches you to be one hell of a fucking good actor. Because you have to put that happy face on every single day because you don't want people to know that you're hurting. You don't want people to know that you're struggling. So you put the happy face on every day and you kind of get used to doing it. And I've been doing it for the last few months and I'm going to stop doing it today. So I've made a couple plans about what I'm going to do going forward. And we'll say the loss of Mimi, the holidays, struggles at work have, have all kind of correlated to cause a perfect storm for me. But... We'll get through this together. So we're going to let some cooking happen 
and I will be back in an hour and we will show off my salmon. Hopefully good. And we'll show off the asparagus and we're going to sit down and have some good dinner. I've already finished off the bottle of wine. I'm not quite buzzed yet, but I'm going to have a beer. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, we're going to go back to cooking and we'll see you guys shortly. Okay, so this is our finished product. Poached salmon and asparagus seasoned with pepper and garlic and butter. So let's try it out. Okay, so we're trying the poached salmon and, and asparagus. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that shit is delicious. Okay, so I have to say, Mmm. Oh my god. I was seriously skeptical. Oh my lord. I was seriously skeptical about poached salmon and a crock pot. But I have to admit, this shit is delicious. It came out flaky. Completely done. I did let it cook for an hour, even though instead of start checking the recipe at 45 minutes, I just figured that extra 15 minutes would be excellent and ideal, which it turned out to be. The asparagus, I let it cook for about 25 minutes at 350 degrees, and that came out delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm actually in heaven right now. I would have never thought that you could poach salmon in a crock pot. But, as it turns out, not only can you poach it in a, in a crock pot, but it'll come out absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a mainstay in my crock pot recipe book. This is delicious. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. it was so easy to do. I will say it probably took 15 minutes worth of prep time and what, an hour of cook time? Well, half an hour of getting the poaching juice ready to go and then an actual hour of cook time. But oh my gosh, seriously people, this turned out delicious. I'm gonna eat every bite. And the best thing is half of what I made is still sitting in the kitchen. And if you're able to cook it or reheat it with heat underneath and heat on top, for example, a raised pan or something with a kind of a grill that you could lay the salmon on top. This is perfectly reheatable the next day or the day after. So I actually have two salmon fillets. Oh my gosh! Then I'm going to eat tomorrow for dinner. Oh my god. People, this shit is fucking fire. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm going to go and finish my salmon and asparagus. And I am going to just sit back and enjoy the mastery that was this recipe. Because I honestly, to start off, did not really think it was possible. I thought this was going to be an epic fail. And it turned out to be an epic, epic fucking go on and do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my dinner. I know I didn't get, I know I did not get to introduce you guys to Charlie, and I did not get to introduce Charlie to you guys, but we're going to do a small little video tomorrow and get that done, because I want you guys to meet my new pup. So, 
Thanks for hanging out. I will list the recipe in the comment section. Well, I will list a link to the recipe because I could not take credit for this. And I want credit to go for who it goes to. But I am going to go enjoy the rest of my fucking bomb ass dinner. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, if you know somebody that is struggling with depression, give them a call. And if you're struggling with depression, give somebody else a call. Between them and us, if we can save one life tomorrow, if we can save one life tonight, just one, isn't it worth it? Peace out.